All right, guys, Mike here, another Watchman Thinking Out Loud. I'm back um, with kind of an addendum, an update uh, to yesterday's video where we talked about this second moon. And I got some great comments. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, guys, for that. Uh, there were just, you know, there's so much in the Bible, you can't think of everything when you're making a video. And um, I got a lot of great comments. And thanks to one of my commenters who threw in Proverbs 7, uh, verse 19 through 20. And it just, I'm shocked looking at this, like, how could I forget this, you know, and how come I didn't search for this? Um, but let's, let's look into this. We're going to get into this, guys. Proverbs 7, 19 through 20. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. Guys, this is a very big clue. Remember, scripture says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. We're doing that right here, guys. Okay, we're numbering our days here. Um, Paul said that he need not write into us about dates and times because we will know perfectly well as the day approaches. Guys, we are right there right now. We have clarity. We all can see the day approaching and everything is coming into focus very quickly. It's astonishing. So the husband is not at home. Who is the husband? Who's our husband? Who's our spouse? It's Jesus Christ. He's the bridegroom. He's the husband. Okay. He's gone on a long journey. Okay. He, he, he has gone on a long journey. He's, he's sort of, you know, was here on earth and then he went up to heaven and there's a long time before he comes back, right? Now, we looked yesterday at the parable of the Good Samaritan um, who basically leaves for two days, right? And he gives the innkeeper two denarius, two days wages to look after the guy. And he says, when I... Uh, return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense. That's because Jesus pays our sin debt in full. He's the guy with the purse. He's the guy with the money, right? That's what the parables are about, you know, the master lending money and, you know, having to pay him back and releasing the debts and all of that, right? He's the guy with the money. So um, the other thing that I didn't mention in yesterday's video is that the path of the asteroid uh, 2024 PT5, which is this second moon here for 57 days around planet Earth, is making its orbit in the shape of a fish, the ichthus, okay? And so that's astonishing. So not only is the diameter of this asteroid 33 feet, which is signifying Jesus Christ, but also it's making its orbit in the shape of the ichthus, the fish, symbolizing the Christian and also symbolizing that Jesus Christ is God, Son, and Savior, okay? So, um, and he's the beginning and the end, the Alpha, the Omega, okay? We see that with how all the Greek letters come together to form this sym symmetrical pattern here, okay? Um, so here's the thing, guys. When we look at Proverbs 7, uh, verse 19 and 20, we see that Jesus Christ, who's gone on the long journey, he returns at the full moon. Okay, right now we're here on October 2nd, 2024, and we're at a waxing crescent moon that's about to begin, basically tomorrow, okay? Um, so Feast of Trumpets kind of starting tomorrow in Jerusalem as uh, the moon starts to illuminate um, with the thin sliver of the, of the new moon appearing, okay? But wait, when's the next full moon in this month? It's October 17th. Guys, this is a very, very big deal, okay? So 1017, 1017, everything, guys, is coming into focus right now, okay? Everything is coming into focus. 10 is equal to law. It's equal, equal to completeness of order, okay? That's why there are 10 commandments. Seven is the number for perfection and divinity. There are seven spirits of God, the seven stars of the Pleiades that make up the heart of the oxen, uh, the heart of God in, in space. Um, so it, it's seven days in a week, 7,000 years, seven days, 7,000 years, etc. Okay, so um, this is a very big deal, the seven, okay? Now, 17 appears 10 times. So there's a 10 and a 17 together there. It appears 10 times in the KJV Bible, Okay. 17 is associated with victory, spiritual perfection, perfect order, and restoration of all things. Noah's flood happened on the 17th day of the month, Genesis 7, 11. That's where we see that. 
Okay, Resurrection Day is Nisan 17. Jesus gets crucified on Nisan 14. He resurrects on Nisan 17. And remember, there was a six-month calendar change between the Noah's Flood days and what we have now. Okay, so... Um, so that is very fascinating. This is extremely telling, okay? This 10 and the 17 is extremely telling. Now, we also see in the I Pet Goat 2 film, we see the boy, the young boy, uh, kind of resurrecting, rising from the dead in the white um, robe here. And we see the red on the robe. It's kind of like, you know, the dipped in the lamb's blood, kind of red signifying those that are covered or clothed in Christ and rising up at the full moon. So we see the full moon there, all right? This, I believe, in Ipeco 2, we are now in this, in this moment. We are in the moments. We are approaching the moments that Ipeco 2 is showing us. This is October 17th, 2024, I believe, okay? We also see today uh, the ring of fire eclipse happened. We see the ring of fire eclipse happening right there, okay? And we see, you know, the comet on Osama bin Laden's beard. We see the CIA logo. So we know that the US is behind what's happening in the Middle East, stirring up all this stuff. And so that is the comet, uh, Shushin Shen Atlas, C2023A3, okay? Which is the comet, it's dubbed the comet of the century. All right, we're gonna look at that in a sec too. We also see here the kind of the dark angel wings right there um, on Obama and we see what appears to be these mountains, which represent, th this represents uh, multiple things here, but these mountains represent the different Muslim nations that are surrounding Israel. We also have nuclear warheads represented here, and then they're holding swords. And believe it or not, swords in the Bible don't just refer to the old school swords. It's also referring to nuclear weapons, okay? So nukes and ICBMs specifically are referred to in great detail in the Bible. And we especially see this in Zechariah 5. So if you read Zechariah 5, you're gonna be reading all about ICBMs there. We also had the news um, about, from last night right here um, on, the, on this account, US Civil Defense News, that IDF is preparing its Jericho 3 ballistic missiles for launch. The Jericho 3 is a nuclear capable ICBM that entered service in 2011. And it's believed to have two or three stages using solid propellant and having a payload of 1,000 to 1,300 kilograms. Okay, so this is where it's at right now. That was news from October 1st, okay? Um, so let's go back here. So the Ring of Fire Eclipse is a very, very big deal because I was wondering for the longest time, you know, what is this eclipse that they're showing us, um, you know, in IPEC 2 Which one is it? Because this film came out in 2012, and since then there have been many, many eclipses. Well, we now have complete and total clarity. Again, Paul said uh, that we would, he, about dates and times, he would not need right unto us because we would know perfectly well as the day approaches. Well, and that we do know perfectly well now. And scripture also says to, you know, apply our hearts to, to, you know, apply our hearts to gain a heart of wisdom to, uh, you know, teach us to number our days, right? To teach us to number our days. So that's what we're doing here. And we're getting a lot of clarity on, on this now. It's all coming into focus. We see the day approaching. So I believe that this eclipse uh, that we see uh, featured heavily in IPICO 2 is the ring of fire eclipse that happened today. We are right there. We also see that ring of fire eclipse on George Bush's cheek as well. Okay. Um, we see a couple things here with the hangman face and the shark, and these are also timing clues. We're gonna look at that as well. Um, we also see Lily with the same eclipse on her cheek. So this is featured very heavily. We see that same eclipse um, featured on one of the characters here as well. Let's see if I have a photo of that. Yep, right here. So we see that ring of fire eclipse right there as well. We see kind of the moon, which is represented by the crater because the moon is filled with craters. And then we see that highlighted circle around it, which represents the ring of fire, the sun shining over the edges of the moon. We also see that ring of fire eclipse here as well. Um, and the, the other, this small body, this small dot that we see right there, that is actually Mercury. 
Okay, that's Mercury. So we're going to look at that. So we go back to Obama here for a second. We see Mercury right there next to the ring of fire eclipse with the freckle. Okay, that's what that is. So we're going to look at that in Stellarium. Of course, we also see the exit, which appears with the highlight on the white rabbit and the deer, which I talked about and showed you from my video when I was at my friend's house um, after the Christian concert where there was that giant white rabbit in the foyer and then directly above it, way up high at the 12 o'clock position, upstairs was the, um, the buck, okay? Um, we also, again, another timing clue is we see the same comet, the Atlas comet, A3, um, on the beard uh, under the mouth of the Antichrist right here. So uh, this comet is also associated with the rise and the revealing of the Antichrist, okay? So we see that there. And again, we see that same comet right there under the mouth and on the beard chin area of um, Osama bin Laden with, of course, the dark wings. So um, that's very telling right there. Um, okay, so, you know, I this obviously we're going to have nuclear. This is nuclear. So this, this war is about to go nuclear. World War III is about to go nuclear. And um, as I showed you, you know, Israel is preparing the Jericho 3 ICBMs. Um, we see that there's going to be a lot of death and destruction. We see that the, the dust in the air here, you can see in the animation floating through. That's the nuclear winner. So we see the explosion going off. We see nuclear winner. Uh, we see that they're sitting here in this um, oyster shell or a clam shell, um, which represents the sea and death, going down to the sea, death. We also see nuclear winter featured here in New York uh, with the um, the torch, the light going out on the Statue of Liberty and then breaking off and falling down. And the light of the sky is kind of swallowed up in darkness. Okay, so that's nuclear winter as well. Um, so the, the thing I want to show you really quick here too is um, this comet. Um, Atlas, I'm going to watch a quick video on that, okay, because this is a very big deal. And here's the thing the closest approach is October 9th, all right? So pay close attention to this short video we're going to watch here and make sure you pay attention to the October 9th date because that's the first air date of the House of Villains show. And we're going to look at some more details on that as it relates to IPIC 02. Oh, to Comet of the Year. This is Comet C2023A3, otherwise known as Su Chinshan Atlas. During October, it will be among the brightest objects in the night sky, with an expected luminosity roughly halfway between that of Jupiter and Venus's. Here, it's seen at sunrise over San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, but as the weeks pass and it rises above the plane of the solar system, it'll be better visible around sunset from October 9th onwards. But if you want to see it, be quick. The next potential flyby will be in a few million years, if it comes... All right, so you heard that October 9th right there. So there it is. Um, that's a very, very big deal. And um, uh, let's see, what else uh, do I have here? Oh, as far as timing, we are now in Breast Cancer Awareness Month, right? So we can see that right here, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, October 1st through October 31st. All right, we also have October 10th is World Mental Health Day. So we see that right there. Okay, now how does this tie into IPEC 02? Well, if we go back to where we see Bush, um, uh, actually, it's, it's in another frame. I don't have it here, but it's where you see the brain um, kind of cracking. Uh, there's the lightning bolt um, on the brain in IPEC 02. So that's featured there. So uh, that I believe that's a date that's given, the World Mental Health Day, where mental health is just going to be, everything's going to be crushed and destroyed. Um, okay. And let's see here. So yeah, we're right here at this moment where we are in, um, uh, breast cancer awareness month. All right. And I just want to brighten this photo up a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. And let's just increase the uh, saturation so you can really see much better what's going on here. Okay. So if you notice this girl here, um, this is an African girl. I believe she is specifically representing Kush in the Bible. Um, she's probably likely from Sudan and she's holding a rifle. We know it's a girl because of the breast right there and the pearls, the pearl necklace. Okay. And, um, that's pretty, 
pretty bad imagery. Um, we're talking like abuse, you know, um, sexual abuse, you know. And so we see her breast there, her naked breast there. And we see the pink bow on the rifle that's getting untied by this uh, Antichrist gentleman here. We don't see his face, he's, he's faceless, but we see the skull and bones, which means death. And uh, so death is gonna be unleashed. And then we see the upside down cross, which is a very prominent um, satanic, um, you know, Antichrist uh, kind of imagery there, okay? So we're right there. We're Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is all coming down. So Kush today is not yet involved in the conflict. So Africa, there's really not a lot of news about Africa being involved in this, but that's going to happen this month. So we're going to see that happen. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to show you is, as far as timing goes, is in IPICO 2, this is a very tiny detail but we see the lotus flower. Remember, scripture says that, well, they're talking about peace when there is no peace. Okay, that's what's happened here with um, a Benjamin Netanyahu a few days getting up at the UN at the podium and talking about Israel is the one that wants peace and that it's the Middle East that's fomenting the wars and stuff. And then a consortium of 57 Muslim countries was represented by uh, this man that got up at the UN right after Netanyahu who was claiming that, no, 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 it's all the Middle East countries and the Muslim countries that want peace and safety, but it's Israel that's fomenting the war. Okay, so which is it? So they're both, they're both sides are saying peace and safety, peace and safety, right? So that's we're right there at that moment when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them. And that sudden destruction is, is, is happening now and, and on its way in some very big, profound ways. So we see that here with this split, this divide of Israel, the apple of, of God's eye, and we see the lotus flower, which represents, you know, peace, okay, and unity. So we see the lotus flower bloom here. And what do we see? We see a, a couple droplets of white ink here on this lotus petal. The one on the left right there that I'm zooming in on right there, that is Gemini, the constellation Gemini, okay? And, um, and then we see Mars, which is war, okay, right there in Gemini. So if we go to... Um, Stellarium, and we look at today, October 2nd, we do see that Mars is in Gemini, just as we see on the lotus flower petal. Okay, so that's representing Israel and the lack of peace that's there. Mars is the god of war. Uh, we have war now. Um, we're engaged in war. So we are right there. All these things in IPEC02 are, are finally coming to fulfillment. We see it. Um, we're crossing over a lot of stuff here and things are coming to pass that are in IPEC02. All right. Um, so the other thing I wanted to um, share with you is, let me go to Stellarium really quick here. All right. So, oh man, it took away my, my thing. Okay. So here we go. All right. So we have Again, we have the moon and Mercury. Um, I want to kind of just come in here and just back up just a little bit because what we see here is the ring of fire eclipse. So that's what we see. Uh, we see the ring of fire eclipse happening right there. Okay, that's exactly what we see in IPEC GOAT 2 right there. And we also see that the Heliophant logo is showing us the ring of fire eclipse with uh, Mercury right there uh, next to the ring of fire eclipse. That's what, the, that's what the Heliophant logo is. Now, if you reverse the Heliophant logo, you get the Instagram logo. So um, Rob Repent um, posted this on their YouTube channel, and I can't believe I never saw it before, but yeah, there it is. There's the ring of fire eclipse with Mercury. So this world system, this evil satanic world system that remember the devil, Satan is the prince of this world. So there's a lot of stuff under his control and influence spiritually. And so that's how we have a logo that actually depicts this, okay? Um, so this is a snapshot. Instagram is all about sharing snapshots. This is a snapshot of a moment in time. Okay, so it's it's a double meaning. It's a photo. It's like a camera that you know for photos, but it's also like it's also communicating snapshot and something celestial. All right, so that's what's going on there, and there is Mercury right next to this ring of fire eclipse, which happened today. So this is now fulfilled. We are right there. All right. Um, what was the other thing I was going to show you? Um, oh yeah. 
we got to look at Sir Penn's. Um, so let me see. I think I have a photo on this. Um, at least I hope I do. I may have to download something here. So let me go to my Google Drive really quick and just see. I may not have downloaded it. Um, all right. Um, yep, Sir Pen's right there. So I yep, forgot to download this. Let's download this really quick and take a look. All right. So right here, guys. Notice Serpens. Okay, we have Ophiuchus, the constellation Ophiuchus, and then we have Serpens. I'm just going to edit this really quick to make it a little bit brighter so you can see this much better. All right. So we have Ophiuchus and holding the snake, Serpens. And then what do we have just right above the snake head? We have Corona Borealis, the crown of seven horns. Okay. So now take a look at this. This is we're going back now to the show, which I pet goat to has communicated, or at least Helio fan has communicated this particular show, uh, back on April 21st and notice the snake and the crown right there. So we have, this is communicating, um, the crowning of the antichrist, the revealing of the antichrist, the crowning of the antichrist, so all the timing clues are spiritually uh, by the devil given to us here in this show. We also have the shark, okay? And right in front of its head is the, you know, money. So I believe, and then we also have the time bomb, okay? With the money next to it. So it's only a matter of time before the economic system, the dollar collapses and everything kind of blows up economically, okay? That's what that's referring to. Um, we have all the big moves by the big inv shark investors, right? Warren Buffett selling all of his, um, shares in Bank of America. Uh, so he knows what's coming. So all the big sharks are getting in on the money uh, action right now. Okay. So lots going on here. We, we see this, um, this kind of crossed out head there uh, in IPEC Goat 2. So if we look right here, okay, we see that right there. So we see that same kind of face on the... Um, on the thing, and we see the shark. Okay, so there's the shark that we see in the um, House of Villains season two um, posters advertising the shark. But wait, there's more because that same shark is a physical 3D thing that they have hanging in the house. Okay, uh, that they're that they're doing this thing at, and notice the dollar signs right there uh, next to the shark. And then um, some of these S's in here are actual snakes. So half of them are dollar signs, half of them are snakes, and then we have the devil horns, okay, on this like kind of Louis Vuitton style um, wallpaper there. Here is another one where we see the snake head, okay? And some of these S's, again, are dollar signs, and some of them are actual snakes, coiling serpents, and then some are um, the devil horns, okay? So uh, this, you know, that's why uh, Heliophant, show, or Heliophant showed us the um, Jax Taylor zoom in because he's in this show and they wanted us to know very well about this show and what's going on. And again, the light of the world is going to be removed. That's why we have this dark lamp and it's just this dark, you know, everyone that's left doesn't have uh, the spirit and it's all about the flesh just the flesh that's ready to be burned up is what remains essentially after the rapture of the church. Okay. So we have, um, the chess piece there, the King, we have the snake, um, going through all these guys, which is just, it's depicting serpents, right? Ophiuchus holding the snake, right? And then we have the white horse. Okay. We have the white horse as well. And, and how many people are actually here? Because they're all reaching for the crown, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people here. Okay, ten people. So this is they are depicting biblical events here. That's what they're depicting there. So um, guys, we we're right there. Okay, we're right there. Now I want to look at some scriptures here really quick. All right, about this long journey, okay? And first, I wanna to go to the Bible because I wanna look at Proverbs 7. Now, keeping Proverbs 7 into context, 
My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Okay, so we have the apple and I pick out too. So this is all, all connects. All right, um, say to wisdom, you are my sister and to insight, you are my relative. Okay, at the window of my house, I look down through the lattice. So that's what God does. He looks through the lattice. Now we can't see him because as I showed in some previous videos with the lattice in my own backyard on top of the fence, when you look straight through, you can see through. But when you look at an angle, like a 45 degree angle or more, uh, you, cannot, you cannot see through. You cannot see through the lattice. So God is the one that peers through and sees us. Okay, we can't see him. Okay, at twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. Okay, again, the lamp goes dark. So that dark of night is about to set in. Okay, then the woman came out to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. Okay, she's unruly and defiant. We're talking about uh, the virgin here, uh, Israel, the woman, Israel. Uh, her feet never stay at home. Okay, she lurks, blah, blah, blah. So Israel is, is adulterous and is unruly. And, you know, the feet, her, Israel's feet, uh, the actions of the uh, Jewish people, they're, they're not with God. They're not at home with God. Okay, not yet. Okay, not yet. But that's going to happen. Okay. Now, um, and this is a picture of Israel as well. Today I fulfilled my vows and I have food for my fellowship offering at home. So um, it's like, you know, God's upset about the Jews doing all this fellowship offerings and, you know, celebrating the feast days and music and celebrating. He can't stand it because they're far, far from him, right? So that's a picture of this, okay? I perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning, till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home, Jesus Christ. He's gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and he will not be home until full moon. So we're right about there, guys. October 17th is that full moon. Okay, now, um, if we just go back here, I have some other scriptures to look at. Uh, Luke 13, uh, verse uh, 32 and 33. Again, Jesus Christ, 33. This asteroid is 33 feet in diameter because it's representing Jesus Christ. Verse 32, and he said to them, go tell that fox, behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow. And the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, verse 33, nevertheless, I must journey today, tomorrow, and the day following. That's the third day. That's the millennial reign of Christ, the next thousand year period that's about to begin. For it cannot be that a prophet should perish outside of Jerusalem, okay? So we know from this scripture that false prophets, they don't come from Jerusalem. And false prophets would likely perish outside of Jerusalem, okay? So Jesus gives us a lot of information here. So the today and the tomorrow is the two days that Jesus has gone on the long journey away from being in our presence and he's coming to get us, okay? He's, he's right there about to come and get us, all right? Luke 10, again, verse 33, but a Samaritan, as he journeyed, again, the long journey again here, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. Now we know how long the journey is here. When he leaves the injured guy that he's just put poured oil and wine on, he leaves him with the innkeeper. We know how long the journey is. It's two days because he pays the innkeeper two denarius. Okay, so there's another example of Jesus Christ being away on that long journey. And when he returns with all the money, because he's the guy with the purse, he's gonna reimburse for any extra expense. Okay, and by the way, um, just to back up for one second, again, on the fish here, on the ichthus, um, remember the scripture about Jesus telling um, one of the apostles uh, to go pay the tax by you know um, catching the fish and then pulling out the two coins from the mouth of the fish, okay, the two drachma coins. Okay, those two coins paid Jesus's tax to Caesar and also the apostles' tax to Caesar, okay? Because um, he said, render under Caesar what is Caesar's, right? So he's the guy with the money. Jesus put the money there. He put it in the, in the mouth of the fish, all right? So here we have sort of two coins in the fish. We've got the moon and we've got the earth. Okay, these two celestial bodies are inside of the fish uh, path that the asteroid is taking. So that kind of represents the two drachma that pays the tax. So Jesus is about to pay the tax in full. Okay, we're just on the cusp of that happening. 
All right. All right, then Mark 13, uh, verse 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, that's to you and I, right? And to every man his work, that's you and I, the work that we've been doing. Jesus' work here for two days, 2,000 years on planet Earth, and command and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say to you, I say unto all, watch. We're watching, guys, aren't we? Matthew 25. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. That's the rapture. Later, the, uh, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his servants' wealth to them, his wealth to them, okay? So that's where we're at right now, okay? Jesus has been on the long journey. He's coming back and he shows us that he's coming back right here with the ichthus, 33 feet in diameter. October 9th is the closest approach during the full moon. And again, October 17th is that full moon. And again, October 17th equals all these things. So guys, teach us to number our days, Lord. Maranatha, um, come quickly, Lord Jesus. I look forward to seeing you guys either on the next video, if there is going to be one, or in the clouds very, very soon. Love you guys. Stay strong. Maranatha. Mike out.